You should always keep your Omnitrope cartridges refrigerated and take them out before your injection to allow them to reach room temperature. The cartridges should not be out of the refrigerator for more than 30 minutes. Start by removing the pen cap by pulling it off your pen body. Holding the pen body, unscrew the cartridge holder and remove from the pen body. With a cleansing swab, disinfect the rubber membrane of the cartridge. Insert the cartridge, metal cap first, into the cartridge holder. Lower the pen body onto the cartridge holder so that the black rod presses against the cartridge plunger. Screw the cartridge holder clockwise onto the pen body until there isn't a gap. One of the blue arrows must line up with the yellow mark, pen 5, or with the white mark, pen 10, on the pen body. Otherwise, the injection cannot be set off. Make sure you don't make it too tight. For each injection, you will need a new needle. Remove the paper tab from the back of a new pen needle. Holding the cartridge holder, push the pen needle unit with the outer needle shield on onto the pen. Then screw the threaded hub of the pen needle onto the cartridge holder as shown. Be careful not to over tighten. With a gentle pull, remove the outer pen needle shield. Save the outer shield. You will use it to remove the pen needle from the pen after your injection is finished. Do not remove the inner pen needle shield at this time. Check that the cartridge holder is attached to the pen body with the blue arrow lined up with the yellow or white mark on the pen body before each injection. After the attachment of the pen needle, a few drops of medication may be observed. If you're using a brand new cartridge, you need to prime your Omnitrope pen. Priming is only needed when the cartridge is new. Carefully inspect the solution before injecting. You should only use the cartridge if the solution is clear and colorless. Hold the pen with the needle pointing upwards. Gently tap the cartridge holder with your finger to help air bubbles rise to the top of the cartridge. If you are using the Omnitrope Pen 5, set the dose 0.05 milligrams by turning the dose knob one click. If you are using the Omnitrope Pen 10, set the dose 0.1 milligrams by turning the dose knob one click. Remove the inner pen needle shield. With the pen needle pointing up, Firmly turn the dose knob back to the zero position and hold for at least five seconds. At least two drops of medicine must flow out of the pen needle for the pen to be properly primed. If at least two drops do not flow out, set your dose again and repeat the steps until at least two drops of medicine appear at the tip of the needle. When the medicine appears, the Omnitrope pen is properly primed for injection and ready for use. If you've already used the cartridge, no priming is necessary. Remove the inner pen needle shield and continue with dose dialing. To set your dose, turn the dose knob until you see the number of milligrams for your dose in the middle of the dose window, lined up with the arrow. You will hear a click for each dose increment you dial, but you shouldn't rely on the clicks to measure the correct dose. If you accidentally turn the dose knob past your dose, do not dial backwards. Instead, hold the pen body and turn the dose knob until it's fully extended. Now you can press the injection button down all the way, resetting the dial to zero without releasing any medicine. The right dose can now be dialed. Be sure to check that the cartridge holder is still attached to the pen body with the blue arrow lined up with a yellow or white mark. If so, the right dose can now be dialed. Before you make an injection, remember to clean the injection site with an alcohol swab. Insert the needle into your skin as instructed by your healthcare professional. After inserting the pen needle, push the injection button in as far as it will go and press firmly. You'll hear a clicking sound as your dose is being injected. Continue to press firmly for five seconds before removing the needle from your skin. Stop pressing before you carefully remove the pen needle from the skin. Remember to remove the pen needle from the pen as described in the next section of this video after each injection. Leaving the needle on the pen after an injection may result in a few drops of medicine dripping from the pen. If you can't push the injection button in as far as it goes, and the dose window does not read zero, the cartridge is empty, and the full dose of medicine has not been injected. The dose indicator window will show the amount of medicine still needed to complete the dose. Remove the pen needle from the skin and make note of the number. Reset the dose knob to zero by holding the pen and turning the dose knob until it is fully extended. 
The dose injection button can now be fully pressed down. Remove the pen needle from the pen and remove the empty cartridge by unscrewing the cartridge holder. You can now insert a new cartridge and pen needle. It is important to make sure that the pen needle unit is not attached to the pen when replacing your cartridge. Once the pen has been primed for injection, you can set the dose to the number that you noted when the injection stopped and finished your injection. Carefully replace the outer pen needle shield. Hold the pen by the cartridge holder and unscrew the pen needle from the cartridge holder. Recap the pen. Your Omnitrope pen can now be stored in its pouch to protect it from light. Because the pen now contains an Omnitrope cartridge, it needs to be stored in a refrigerator between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. You should follow local regulations in your country concerning the handling of potentially infectious materials for disposing the used pen needles. <laughs>